Adam Raccoon in the Lost Woods by Glenn Keane. The sun had not yet risen in Master's Wood. Nearly everyone was sleeping. A single light shone from Adam Raccoon's window. He had been up for hours getting ready for the big day. That must be him, Adam said, running to open the door. There stood the mighty lion, King Aaron. Are you ready to go on the hike, Adam? The sun is almost up, he said. Yes, wait one second. I'll be right back, Adam replied. Okay, I'm ready, Adam said. Adam, why are you bringing all that? I've already planned for everything. Oh, but I need all this stuff. It won't be any trouble. Honest, I know what I'm doing. Come on, let's go. Uh, Adam, you're heading the wrong way. Follow me. And so they started on their journey. Adam quickly realized this was not going to be as easy as he thought. Stopping at a stream, King Aaron said, Crossing this stream is going to be tricky. Watch how I do it, Adam. Grabbing a hanging vine, King Aaron swung easily across the stream. But all Adam could see was the stuff he was carrying. Now it was Adam's turn. Carefully he stretched his foot to the first rock. Zip! Splash! The rocks were very slippery. Adam frantically grabbed for his things as they floated down the stream. It was too late. He was only able to save his little red ball. Adam, try not to worry about losing your things. You really don't need them when you're with me, King Aaron said. What about my ball? Can I bring it? It's so small. And besides, it's the only thing I have left. It will only cause you more trouble, Adam. Come on now, stay close by my side, King Aaron said. Adam followed him, clutching his little red ball. Ahead of them lay the dangerous, lost woods. King Aaron had traveled this way many times before. Holding tight to the king's hand, Adam knew he would be safe. A howling sound swirled around them. It was the cold wind whistling through the twisted trees. The lost woods had many twisted paths that crisscrossed here and there, but King Aaron always knew which way to turn. Soon the woods began to brighten. Flowers bloomed everywhere. Adam was feeling safer. He let go of the king's hand and started to play with his ball. Whoops! The ball rolled off the path and into the woods. Down the hill and through a log. It rolled to a stop in a little clearing. Adam picked it up and turned to go back. But which way was back? Nothing looked familiar as he headed in what he thought was the right direction. The woods seemed darker 
and colder now. Frantically, Adam tried to find a way back. Help! King Aaron, I'm lost! Exhausted, Adam fell to the ground. It's hopeless. I'll never find my way back, he said. Then Adam realized he wasn't alone. A low growling surrounded him. Wolves! From behind every tree and rock crept a hungry wolf. Adam tried to scream for help. With one mighty roar, the wolves leaped at Adam. Adam waited, but nothing happened. He took a peek and could hardly believe what he saw. All around him, the wolves were cowering as though they were afraid. Adam didn't understand. Then he felt the big, strong paw resting on his shoulder. King Aaron! Adam cried. It was you who scared them away. Adam, the king said, aren't you leaving something behind? Nothing that I need as long as I'm with you, Adam replied, and they continued on their way. <laughs>